Welcome to another radio related video and this is another little tutorial video for the ICOM ICR20 communications receiver and uh, this tutorial video will talk about attenuation of signals uh, there are two ways to attenuate signals on your ICOM ICR20 so if you live in a big city like I do uh, one of the first things you'll want to do is actually lower the sensitivity of the receiver so that it does not overload too much on some of the strong signals that you can have in a big city or if you live really close to um, cell antennas, page pageant antennas all types of communications uh, if you see antennas really close on big buildings um, you're probably gonna get some overloading I have really um, big antennas that are about I would say uh, 500 meters away from where I live which is quite close on top of a uh, building here uh, not very far and um, lots of communications going on there there are some page antennas some cell towers there's some uh, communications for the ambulance um, so uh, lots of signals coming out of there and um, probably that is the main problem for me uh, when signals are present I can actually have reception problems on my ICOM ICR20 so how do you change the settings two settings possible there's an attenuator which will just drop the signal level by a fixed amount and there's the RF gain and I must say that I prefer playing with the RF gain than playing with the attenuator. Uh, the attenuator, the problem is it's all or nothing. So you attenuate a lot or you don't. The RF gain, what's cool about that is that it's gradual. You can desensitize your receiver but just by a small amount. And I find that more interesting in my case and I will probably play with the RF gain much more than I play with uh, the attenuator. So, how do you get the attenuator and the RF gain? Well, both are located at the bottom of your receiver and they are located... I'm just gonna put a little more light here so you can see. So, on the bottom left, you see ATT, that's attenuator, and right next to it is RF gain. So if I press attenuator, I'll put a signal here. I'll put a, the weather broadcast, for example. Marine forecast. So this is my local weather broadcast. If I press the attenuator, which is here, so you press and hold, you will see ATT on the lower left of your uh, display and look how the signal's gone really down so you see that the attenuation is quite large here so unless the signal you're listening to is really strong chances are it might be too much of an attenuation and of course if you're listening to weaker stations forget it you don't use the attenuation like that so to take it out you just press the lower left button and hold until you hear the beep and you see ATT will disappear from your display. Right next to it is RF gain and this is more interesting. So you press and hold and here you see in your display it says set RF gain and now it's 9. 9 is the highest, uh, max is the highest, sorry. And when it says max, this is the highest setting. Notice that the signal level is right here. I will, with the right dial button, turn counterclockwise to lower the RF gain. So you see here, it has an effect really slowly. So I would use this attenuation to lower my attenuation just slightly so instead of max I will put 9 or 8 or 7 depending on what I'm listening to 
It attenuates one step at a time. So if you're listening to a weaker signal, for example, here I'll, uh, I'll get out of here. Let me take the uh, NOAA weather broadcast that's... Uh, Just put here. So this is the um, weather broadcast. I don't receive it really well here, but this is the weather broadcast for um, in Burlington, Vermont, which is quite far away. The five press RF gain, which is at maximum. Try to get a better signal here. Here we go. Let's just take this here. Over here, so you'll see that is what I mean. Now I'm receiving it quite well, but if one of the strong signals from the antenna close to my home starts broadcasting, I will actually have degrading of the reception. So you can go slowly. Nine, eight. So you can see that it's pretty much gradual, which is much better than the attenuation. I'll get out and look if I put attenuation instead. And there we go. I just don't receive it anymore at all. So the attenuation is way too much. So unless you're really, really having strong signals, the attenuation is not necessarily a good idea. You're better off using the RF gain, which is going to be slowly. It's going to be gradual, so you can take out just enough sensitivity, but still keep the weaker signals uh, coming in your radio. And it's going to help if you've got strong broadcasts that actually um, interfere with your radio and do all uh, some over-modulation stuff and uh, intermod. You'll uh, actually be better off just lowering the, uh, lowering the RF gain slightly and often it's going to help a lot on this radio. This radio is really sensitive so uh, you got to just keep track of that. So, two ways to attenuate. Lower left attenuation and just right of it, RF gain. Two great ways of actually attenuating signals on your radio to help cope with overmodulation of all sorts that could happen on this receiver. So, uh, if you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen and you'll be informed of the videos we put online. Just put a favorite. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, hey, let us know. I'll try to answer all the questions that I have. Remember, no stupid questions. You just don't know it. That's it. So uh, don't be afraid to ask. So thanks for watching. 73s.